carnivores, SP fam, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. I hope you all are having a Gouda meat fueled, amazing week so far. As always, please update me down below under this video in the comments on any updates regarding your carnivore journeys. I absolutely love just browsing the comments, reading all of your updates, cheering you all on, congratulating all of your NSVs, non-scale victories throughout the month. If you have any video requests, also do comment it down below. I do read the comments and I take note of any requests that I feel like could benefit all of you guys. So today's video, as you can see in the title, it is going to be a what I eat in a week video. It will showcase what I typically eat now as a carnivore. It will also share with you guys how many meals I typically eat now throughout the day, the snacks that I love to eat, uh, the types of meats, how I cook it. Some of you guys have requested that I dedicate a video just to some of my favorite products for daily life, for skincare, for makeup. Although I'm not going to do that in today's video, I thought I would just feature just a few products. If you're not interested in knowing what I've been loving that isn't food related at all, uh, feel free to skip this section. First thing that I have been using every single day, and I'm kind of still testing it out, is this right here it is called blue blocks if you don't know what blue blockers are they're basically just frames glasses that you wear every single day to protect your eyes from blue light what is blue light blue light is the light that emits from our laptops our tvs our computers our ipads our phones so we're constantly looking at blue light throughout the day and i thought i should probably invest in some really good quality blue blockers that look good and fit my face um, so i can protect my eyes especially since i am a content creator i do zoom calls i make content on my phone edit on my laptop so i'm always staring at blue light so might as well get some nice blue blockers to protect my eyes this is what I got. It is a really cute design. I will wear it for you guys. I think the name of this design is called Magnum Computer, but don't worry, I will make sure to type it on the screen and link it down below in the description box. This is the box, nice red sides. It feels very high quality and the logo's here and it's a magnetic clasp here, which you can open. And this is what the box looks like. They kind of look like your grandparents' classes, but I chose this one specifically because their nose pads are adjustable. And if you are Asian and you have an Asian nose, which does not sit as tall, these adjustable nose pads are perfect and amazing because you can adjust how tall or low these glasses sit. And with us Asian noses, glasses tends to slip off our face uh, but these ones don't because there's some friction on the little nose pads. So these are what the frames look like. I am pretty picky about uh, frames, the size, the width, the shape, uh, because my cheekbone area, this part, is quite wide. And usually any frames that I order or try on, it literally squeezes my cheekbones. And it gives me headaches because it's so tight. And I also have to make sure that the frames that I get do have these adjustable nose pads because uh, usually glasses will just slip right off my nose and my face, especially when I produce a little bit of oil on my skin, it will just slip right off and that's really annoying. And I also prioritize that the frames that I use are lightweight. I cannot stand anything heavy sitting on my nose and my face because I will get a headache. I'm just super sensitive like that. So these frames hit all of the boxes. This is just like a typical day. I sit down at my office desk. My frames, these blue blockers are always here now. So I just put it on any time I stare at my screen. Sometimes, you know, the screens that I use, I'm editing like five hours in a row or I'm hosting Zoom calls three to four hours daily. So I definitely think these blue blockers are a good investment. So far, I feel like it is causing my eyes to be less dry at the end of the day, especially when it's a long day of just staring at blue light all day long. My eyes definitely feel a lot less dry. So these ones are not prescription. I wear contacts and then I wear these ones over it but I know blue blocks can customize to your prescription so you can 
see with these blue blockers as well without wearing contacts like me. If you guys wanna check out this brand, Blue Blocks, for all of their blue blockers, feel free to check out the description box. I'll make sure to link this exact design that I got down below in the description box. This right here is a travel backpack. I really wanted something where I can pack everything I need as a carry-on when I'm flying, when I'm traveling, and not have to worry about wheeling around a suitcase of luggage, and this was perfect. So why I like this specific backpack is because there are so many different compartments. I am obsessed with like the 20 different compartments and zips it has because I get super organized and neat freak when I'm traveling and packing things, especially when I have all these different gadgets, webcam, mouse, keyboard, laptop, all these wires, chargers, ring light, mic, it just is so much. And if I don't compartmentalize and organize into different locations in my bag, I just get really overwhelmed because it just becomes a mess. It has a nice back slit right here, just for your laptop. Another little folder right here and this whole part to put whatever you want. And then we have another layer right here. Lots of compartments, so many different little mini folders. And then you have another one in the front here right here and then you have one on the side right here it is amazing and then you have the little water bottle containers on the sides this part is awesome because it's just a band that you can slip down your suitcase handle so you can just let it rest on your suitcase and wheel it around so you don't have to carry it on your back and then you have one more zip compartment right here in the back, which is really nice and subtle. The straps are really nicely padded, so if you're carrying a bunch of weight, it doesn't feel as heavy and it doesn't dig into your skin. Just in case you guys travel a lot and are looking for a really awesome bag as a carry-on or just a backpack that's really well designed. So I will also link this one down below in the description box. Let's get into the food, the carnivore meals, everything that I eat in a typical week. Day one meal is an OMAD and it's going to be lots of variety. As you can see, I have some pasteurized eggs from Whole Foods. This is by Wilcox Family Farm. And I have two steaks. One is a New York strip from Butcher Box. One is a ribeye also from Butcher Box. As you can see, I'm just air frying these two steaks in my air fryer at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for exactly eight minutes. And here for Steak and Butter Guy, I am cooking him up some thick cut flanking and short ribs. I just bake these in the oven at 375 degrees for 50 minutes. Flank and short ribs are definitely our favorite. This again is from Whole Foods, but you can also find it at Costco. Next up is some egg pudding. If you are new to my channel and you have not tried egg pudding in Chinese, it's called zheng ji dan. Definitely check out this recipe. Just keep watching and I will teach you how to make my famous egg pudding recipe. First things first, we're going to need a pan, a pan that can actually fit our egg pudding bowl and also a lid. So we're first going to get one inch worth of water into this pan and let it come to a boil. While this happens, we're going to now prepare for our egg pudding mixture. So for the egg pudding mixture, just keep in mind that the ratio of eggs to water is one to one. Now you guys can be creative with what water or liquid you use for your egg pudding. I know a lot of people love egg pudding with some bone broth or egg pudding with a little bit of milk, but I'm going to show you the plain way, which is egg pudding with plain water. So as you can see, I'm cracking the eggs into a small glass cup. You can use anything that you have to measure your eggs. I like this glass cup because three eggs fit perfectly into this one glass cup so I know exactly how much water I need to add to match the one-to-one -one ratio. So three eggs equals one full cup of water. So with every three eggs, I put in one full glass cup of water to match that one-to-one -one ratio, as you guys can see. Today, I am using a total of eight eggs in my egg pudding. Of course, it is up to you to choose how many eggs you want. I typically go for at least eight to 10, just because I have a big appetite and I know that I need this many eggs in my pudding to feel satiated. And keep in mind, I'm having a lot of meat on the side as well. So after putting in the egg and the equal amount of liquid into your bowl, just stir it up, really beat that egg mixture really well because the better you mix it, the better the egg pudding texture, the smooth the less air bubbles. So you really want to spend a good amount of time stirring this egg pudding mixture up. 
By now, the water should be boiling in your pan, so you can turn down the heat so you don't burn yourself, open that lid, and carefully place in your egg pudding into the pan. Again, you want to make sure this bowl fits so that you can properly seal the lid over the pan and still cover the entire egg pudding bowl. You don't want any cracks or spaces. Once the egg pudding is in and the lid is sealed, we're going to turn that heat to medium. So we're going to steam this egg pudding at medium heat. For eight eggs, it's going to take 12 minutes. If you're using six eggs, I would say about 10 minutes. Here's the two butcher box steaks out of the air fryer. Again, eight minutes. 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna let the steaks rest as I wait for the egg pudding to steam so fast forward 12 minutes uh, here's the finished product of the egg pudding you really want to look for a very basically just a pudding like texture and consistency and you want to make sure the entire egg pudding is solid if it's still liquidy and there's still raw egg in the middle you want to just close that lid back on and steam for a few more minutes by the way, if you guys do try my egg pudding, please do tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is steak and butter gal on the screen and feel free to follow me there for even more recipes, more content and more carnivore guidance. Okay, it is time to dig into this egg pudding. It's currently way too hot to eat, but I just wanna show you guys the consistency, the silky jiggliness of this zheng ji dan egg pudding. Uh -oh. Oh my gosh, look at that. So obviously this egg pudding tonight is more on the um, watery side, liquidy side. It's kind of right in between being a soup and being a pudding. So I had this early afternoon as my first meal of the day and I also paired it with some carnivore bars. So if you're not aware of these carnivore bars, it's basically just a steak in a bar. I eat these whenever I'm too lazy to cook up a steak or some type of meat. Um, I usually like to have some meat to go along with my egg pudding. It's just a really nice combination for my palate. So I just ended up eating two of these carnivore bars. It's literally just beef and tallow. Tallow is just beef fat and it's blended into this solid bar. When you bite into it there is quite a crunch but there's also a really creamy texture that goes along with it so it's a really delicious exciting uh, food slash snack so i turned on flash so you guys can really see a little bit more clear uh the texture of this bar it is so delicious it's very creamy it's crunchy and yet quite beefy but I would say the flavor overall is quite subtle. Since I got the unsalted one, it really just tastes like unsalted meat bar. If you guys wanna check out the carnivore bar, I'll make sure to also link it in the description box down below. Dude, this is hard to come by, guys. Look, $7.19 for my favorite beef. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. I'm gonna get all of this. All of it, babe. Are you ready? We're gonna feast. What are you doing? So for dinner, we went to Whole Foods to shop for some meats and we scored an amazing deal on our favorite Flanken beef short ribs. They went on sale and they were cut beautifully just how we liked. So we got a ton of those. And if you can see here, their regular American thick cut short ribs were also on sale. So I got some for Steak and Butter Guy. As you can see, Steak and Butter Guy was my shopping cart. The eggs were on sale as well. So we got a box of those eggs. So here's how we cooked the food. Here's one of the packets of the packaged short ribs flanken cut. I am using one and a half packets. We got three packets. So it lasted us a total of two meals. <laughs> but one packet is about three pounds. So I cooked up about just over four pounds of short ribs. Basically, just align it on your baking sheet. And the paper that I'm using is called parchment paper. A lot of you guys were curious what it is. I was actually directed by a lot of you guys who watch my videos to not use aluminum foil anymore because it is toxic when heated so now i have swapped all aluminum foil with parchment paper which is perfectly safe non-toxic i got this parchment paper on amazon i will make sure to link it down below in the description box so i put all of the short ribs two trays total of short ribs into the oven 
As always, I bake at 375 degrees, and for this amount, it took me 50 minutes of baking. So here's the finished product of meal two of the day. All of these flink and short ribs, fresh out of the oven, and I boiled the eggs that I got from Whole Foods. I like to do a soft boil so it's not completely cooked. And that for me takes seven minutes total of boiling the eggs, and then I follow with a quick ice bath. what I'll be eating for dinner tonight. It's gonna to be a bunch of ribeyes from ButcherBox and some salmon. So it's gonna be seafood and red meat tonight. And I actually thawed the salmon in the past few hours. I'll turn around the camera to show you guys, but this is an OMAD day because I had meetings all throughout the day today, starting from the morning all the way to now, which is 5.55 p.m. So I'm eating uh, an evening OMAD, which is usually when I eat my OMADs, and I'll show you guys what I'm eating. So here's the red meat of my choice tonight. It's going to be ribeyes from Butcher Box. Like I said, this right here is grass-fed and grass-finished, by the way, beef ribeye steak. And this time they actually included the calories, which honestly don't matter, but this is what it looks like. Here's the salmon, which I have been thawing. It's still quite frozen. This is the packaging right here, also from Butcher Box. I actually got this for my last box with all of my ribeyes, and it's wild caught Alaska sockeye salmon. And here's the back of the packaging, right there, from Bristol Bay, Arkansas. Oh, interesting. So here's the salmon out of the packaging. I will be air frying all three of these at once. As you can see, the skin comes intact, which is excellent for all of those delicious omega-3s. And also when you air fry the skin or even just sear it up on your pan, it becomes this delicious, crispy, fatty salmon chip. So I will show you guys the end product. I will be air frying at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of just six minutes. Now these three butcher boxes ribeyes i will just be searing on the pan and i really like to sear these ribeyes whenever i'm in a rush nowadays if i really want a perfect steak in the air fryer i will make sure that i air fry it frozen that's a really good pro tip that i can offer you guys especially if you like your steaks super rare and bloody in the middle but with a really nice crispy sear so if you can air fry it frozen that would be the way to go but if you can sear your steaks that honestly is my favorite way nowadays I just get that pan extremely piping hot and smoked up and then I throw on the steaks and it's ready within minutes. Oh mad, we've got three salmon chunks and three ribeyes. Ok 
okay, on this day, I was strongly craving seafood. So I ended up going early in the morning with Steak and Butter Guy to our favorite seafood market, Pike's Place Market in Seattle, Washington. And they really have hands down the best seafood I have ever tried, even better than New York City Farmer's Market seafood. Uh, so I ended up getting a bunch of jumbo shrimp, wild caught, a large filet of black cod, which is my favorite fatty fish to cook. I usually like to eat my seafood raw, but uh, this black cod is perfect steamed. It's a very Chinese way of cooking fish is to steam it. So I steamed the black cod for a total of seven minutes, any more than that, and it will no longer be as tender and melt in your mouth. So you do not want to over steam this fish. And with the shrimp, I just boiled in water for two to three minutes and I finished with an ice bath. So here's the finished product. For me, I had the entire black cod filet plus a bowl of of shrimp and I got some raw scallops for steak and butter guys mama we had lunch with her on this day good job slicing the Good boy. By the way, I usually eat the shrimp with the shell on everything. I don't have any waste when I eat shrimp. But if you don't like the shell, please don't forget to give it to your dog because they love it and it is so nutritious for them. So for tonight's dinner, we're going to be cooking up some ground beef patties on the grill. And this is from Butcher Box, which I always get a monthly shipment of their beef, ground beef and their chicken wings. So, yep, this is dinner. Okay, so here are the beef patties from Butcher Box, all shaped beautifully into patties. And we're gonna grill this. Yep. Okay. So here's the finished product. I couldn't get any good footage, but you can see how glossy and fatty the burgers were. And here's a story that I shared on my Instagram where you guys can definitely find more of my daily meals and all things carnivore. Hey carnivores, so it's the day before we're going to be leaving. So I just wanted to show you what I typically eat before a long road trip. Obviously, I wanna make sure that I get in a lot of food uh, before tomorrow just so I'm like extra nourished, extra prepared for whatever the road trip throws our way. Uh, obviously, I will show you guys what I'm going to bring snack-wise for the road trip, um, but today it's gonna be an OMAD and I'm gonna show you what I'll be cooking up for dinner for both me and Steak and Butter Guy. Also, someone wants to say hello to you guys. Why, hello there, handsome boy. Hey, baby. Why are you such a beauty boy? Ooh, somebody just woke up. So here's what we have for tonight. Right here on this side, we have three packets of chicken wings. Here we've got five ribeyes. It's a lot, I know. This is for two people, keep in mind. Two very tall, hungry people. 3.5 pounds of chicken wings right here. And we've got five ribeyes so these are both from butcher box also i'm preparing for what i'm going to pack for the trip i just wanted to show you these element electrolytes which i highly recommend if you are looking for a high quality electrolyte uh, powder mix whatever you call it oh and these are some lid rollers i order from amazon because uh, you know we have dogs and they shed so real quick what are these element electrolytes all about well, I get them because Stick and Butter Guy relies on these every single day. So these are great, especially if you're super active. Do you go to the gym every day? Are you usually sweating a lot during your workouts? Your body may need some electrolytes to supplement all of the electrolytes you're sweating out every day. A lot of new carnivores start this way of eating. They experience muscle cramps, uh, headaches, low energy, not enough strength in the gym initially. This is where these electrolytes could really come in handy. Here's what the electrolytes look like. They're really small, easy to pack on the go. And all you have to do is just pour it in your water, mix it up. You can pour it in your coffee, whatever beverage you drink, mix it up, drink it down, and that's it. So if you guys wanna try a sample pack of these Element electrolytes before you commit to a full-size box, feel free to type the URL on the screen right here, or go down to the description box, click the link there. Uh, to directly get your free sample pack. You will just have to pay for the shipping. So I have laid out the chicken wings onto my baking sheet. 
this by the way you guys always ask this is just parchment paper um the color looks weird because it's not white but it's just some recycled parchment paper i got this at whole foods so i'm going to put this in the oven and look at these gorgeous fatty ribeyes here we're going to be grilling these up tonight stick and butter guy just got a new grill so we've been kind of obsessed with grilling everything Ready to grill? Here's the ribeyes, and I took a photo mid feast, but I really wanted to show you Simba's precious little face. And the chicken wings, I, by the way, baked at 380 for 45 minutes. So there you have it, carnivores. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you do try any of the recipes that I shared, please do tag me on Instagram. I love sharing all of your stories when you guys try these recipes. I love sharing your renditions of the egg pudding. And I did wanna let you guys know that if you are new to carnivore, Gouda is literally falling asleep in my arms. If you are new to carnivore, please know that there is always an option of a community for you guys to join. I created the Steak and Butter Gang, a community of now over 5,000 carnivores and meat eaters, just like you and me, where we can connect, keep each other inspired, accountable, on track, all year long and within this community you guys have access to my monthly challenges where you will get live guidance live q a's group coachings group community calls where you can talk with like-minded real carnivores where you can get guidance answers and help from the top carnivore coaches in the community so it's eight hours every single week of live zoom calls that's what i was referring to in this video when i said that i'm always on my laptop doing zoom calls it's to connect with my awesome community on zoom so if you want to join the community be a part of these awesome zoom calls feel free to go to s <laughs> he's just snoring sbgmeetup.com. Just type this URL on your desktop, on your internet browser. I will also make sure to link that link down below so it's clickable if you don't wanna type this URL and you will get all the details that you need about this community, the benefits of being a member and all of the meetings that you will get, all of the types of classes. We have fat loss, fasting, so much more and all the upcoming guest speaker calls. Gouda wishes you all a gorgeous Gouda Me Fuel day and we will see you in the next video. Hello, hello. Do you want to say goodbye? Okay.